Hi guys, in this video, we're going to use Rust to calculate age. Now, first question is, why do I need to calculate age? Well, you never input the age of a person or the age of an entity anywhere, not in a database or anywhere. Why? Because age changes with time. And uh, what you do is you input the birth date of that individual or the purchase date, for instance, of that entity, and then you calculate the age based on that. So, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. So what I have here, I just created a new application in Rust called Tutorials. And the way you create new applications in Rust, is just go in the terminal, say cargo, new, put the name of your application, in, the, in my case now, Tutorials. And what happens is that Rust creates a whole folder with, a, with a certain stuff in, in it. And one of it is main RS, which is found in a subfolder called SRC. And another thing is the meta file for your um, application, which is, car, which is called cargo tomo, which is basically a cargo tomo file. And basically uh, what I did, what I also did, I created a new file in that directory. Uh, you can see it here in source and it's called age calculator Doris. In it, I'm gonna create my function, which is gonna calculate the age. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna call my function from the main RS file and uh, allow it to print the ages of certain inputs that I'm going to give it. So let's get started. So because I want my function to be accessed from main, it's going to be a public function. And that's why I'm going to use the keyword pub, then the keyword fn for functions in Rust. And I'm going to give it my, a name. Let's call it hcalc. And my function is going to take in three inputs, basically the birth year. And that's going to be of type uh, integer 64 bits. Uh, it's going to take in the birth month, uh, month, and that's also going to be of I64, of type I64, uh, i.e. integer 64 bit, and birth date, that's also going to be I64. And what this function is going to return, it's going to return the age, and age, again, is of type I64, basically a 64 integer. Right, and now I'm opening up the body of the function. And now, now what I need is basically a method or a way or a package or something which can deliver me the date of today. Because today's date, today we're on the 10th of August, 2020. Now, today's, the problem with today's day is going to change. Tomorrow we're going to have the 11th uh, of August, 2020. Next year we're going to have the 10th of August, 2021 and so on. So I need some sort of package which always gives me today's date. And there is such a package or crate in Rust called Chrono. There's the page for Chrono. I'm going to post the link in the description below. And because Chrono is an external crate, I have to include that into my dependencies in my cargo file. And basically, there you go. There's, there's that piece. I just copy that go over to my uh, cargo file and just paste it in here and save. So that's one thing done. So now my application knows, oh, okay, you know what? I need Chrono 0.4. I better get that before compiling the program. So now what I have to do in my function, I have to include or inform my function that, you know what? You're going to be using Chrono. And in that, in, that, in that site, they also tell you how to include that. If, you're not, if you don't need, you know, if you don't want to put any specifics, just use that. And just exactly what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy that, go over here and paste it. And now I can start doing my work. So first of all, I'm going to create a variable called date today. And that is going to be UTC and now so that's today's date and I want to create an um, I'm going to create a new variable called H and that's going to be I64 why because I just said so in here that I'm going to return I64 and that's what's going to be returned right another thing I'd like to note before proceeding is if I go back to the website uh, what they're telling you is that in your main, i.e. in your main RS, include this. 
I think that was relevant in older versions of Rust. You don't have to do that right now. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, it just throws an error or throws you a warning that you don't need to do that. Right. So let's go back in here. So now let's start with the logic. Now, uh, today is we have 20, 20, 10 and 8. So and let's take a, a birthday, for instance, 1980, um, let's say 01 and uh, 08. And let me put here an O as well. So, we're... so right. So now, how do I cal how old is this person? Well, this person's uh, birthday is long past. So obviously, this guy is like 2020 minus 1980, 40. So what about this guy? Well, this guy's birthday not yet passed, and that means um, he's still 39. So how do I build the logic? Well. There are many ways of building the logic, but one way of doing it is I go like this. If birth month, which is basically this one here, let me put it back to January. If birth month is smaller than date today and the month of date today, oops, and I have to convert that to I64. Now what? Well, if if that's the case, if, if the birth month is smaller or before today's month, well, then obviously my birthday is past and my age is basically date today uh, dot year, basically the year of today as I64 minus birth year. Okay? That's basically same thing as, you know, doing 2020 minus 1980. Right. I'm converting everything to I64 because I need, I've got everything in I64. And I'm not so sure what uh, what day to day is, what that returns. So, you know, so I'm just converting everything to I64. Right. Uh, now, that covers all cases with, you know, if I'm born like January, February, March, April, up to August. Uh, sorry, and today's date is, I've just got it wrong. It is 08, the month is 08, and the day is 10, not the other way around. Right, now what happens if, uh, what happens, okay, now we've covered all cases up to, up to, you know, up to the end of July. Now, what happens if I'm in, if I'm born in August? Well, then, let me just copy that. And then else, if, and then if, birth month equal well if i'm born in august let me change that to august well then what determines whether my birthday has passed or not it is basically the birth day so basically here what happens is that we do the same condition as here let me just copy that just to save myself some typing and typos and paste it and just call say birth then we have to go to birth day, uh, date. That should be day. I just, yeah, day. If birthday smaller than today's day as I-64, well, then what? Well, then, and smaller or equal to, because if I'm born today, then obviously my birth is also passed. Well, then I'm also older so i just can copy that and paste it in here oops so that's it so you see now if so let me just repeat that so if i'm born in august then what determines whether i'm i'm one year older or not is my birth day and i had a mistake up here i had date i just corrected that so now if birthday is smaller or equal to today's day then obviously my birthday is passed and obviously i'm a, you know like i'm one year older otherwise I, my birthday is not passed yet, and I am not one year older. So basically, it's the same formula as here, except I just need to take off one, minus one, okay? So that covers those people born in August, and obviously, anybody beyond August, 
anybody beyond August is, you know, his, his or her birthday has not passed yet. And so they're basically, again, their age is the same as last year. So that's basically the whole function. And then what I got to do is return the age. And that's it. So you can see here the logic is pretty straightforward. I covered the months before today's month. I covered the months in today's month. And everybody else, you know, is basically beyond today's month. And I got the age. Right. So that is that. Now let me go over to main and do our, let's do our mods. First of all, I need to tell main that we're using uh, age calculators and I have to, mod is, stands for module, mod age calculators, okay, and semicolon, right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to print the ages. Let me put a placeholder, take that off. And then here, now I'm going to call uh, my function. Now the module is called age calculators, age calculators, and then colon colon, and then I'm going to go see age calc. That's my function. And you see here, I've now got the birth year. Let me put the birth year is 1980. Let me put the month is 08 or 8. And let me put the day as the 9th. That's like yesterday. Right, that's yesterday. And let me copy that. And put that. So that guy should be uh, 40. That guy is born today. This guy is born today. So that guy should also be 40. This guy is born to uh, like this guy's birthday is tomorrow, so he should be 39. And let me add a couple of more cases. Let me do the first the, the, in January, and that guy should be uh, uh, 40. Sorry, 40. And let me paste another one, which is basically let me put him in in October, for instance, and that guy should still be 39. So basically. That is now my um, my calls to the function. Everything every time it's the same thing. You're just seeing. I'm just inputting different um, arguments. Now let's compile that and see what it gives us. Cargo run. And you see here it compiled and it's exactly as as I foretold here in the comments. You got 40. This guy is 40. This guy is 40. This guy is still 39. Tomorrow, if I if I run that program tomorrow, he's gonna be 40. This guy is 40, and this guy whose birth is not yet passed is 39. And this, with this, you have now a simple uh, function which is basically able to calculate the ages in Rust. And if you like to have a nice exercise, just recreate that function and just use a different logic. Just say if birth month is bigger than today's month and take it from there.